All right. Um, first of all, I want to say uh, thank you to our fans. Our fans really were the reason we won the game. Um, our defense was terrific in the second half, and they were into every play and every possession and getting on the refs for me. Um, so I, I thought they were terrific. Um, Basketball gods were obviously on our side. It's kind of a miracle win. We weren't very good. I wasn't very good. Uh, and we weren't ready to play. And um, and they were. We had played five games in nine days. We had no energy. And the crowd gave us energy late. So Anthony does what he does. Um, you know, they kept switching their defense. They were in a triangle and two. And we didn't listen very well today. Uh, didn't adjust quickly. Um, if you get a layup for Dante out of it, um, once we start doing some things offensively, then Anthony was just Anthony. And, um, it's a miracle. When he made the shot, I'm like, okay, we're going to overtime. And I felt pretty good. Uh, and then we got the steal, and they fouled, they fouled him. And uh, so it's a great win. In the end, it's a great win. And we got to enjoy it. And uh, we got to get our energy level back. That's a lot of games, and we didn't, we didn't have it today. But the, de the defense carried us. And, I thought Sticks' defense around the rim was terrific, and our rebounding was good enough in a small lineup uh, for us to, to win the day. But uh, just weren't very good uh, offensively for the whole game. Questions, please. Yeah. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jacklers Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. Well, talk, talk about in terms of Anthony's ability to hit those kind of shots. Yeah. Um, he did it a couple of years ago at Illinois. Yeah. Yeah, they took us out of the play, and they switched the screen, and we panicked a little bit, um, which we kind of did all day. And they got the ball to Anthony, and we all knew what he was going to do. And right when he shot it, I knew it looked perfect. I knew it was in. And um, that's just kind of what he does. And then he stepped up and made the free throw. But, um, you know, they went triangle and two on him and Wiggs late. They weren't guarding Eric. Can you imagine they weren't guarding Eric Ayala. And we couldn't figure out how to get him a shot. We started running him on the baseline. It helped a little bit. We got uh, some stuff going. But um, uh, Anthony said it best. He said, guys, we can't approach a game like the way we approach today. We're a terrible in shoot around. It's the worst shoot around in the year. We're terrible. And uh, they carry, we're lucky. We're real lucky to, to be one and all in the league. When, you know, you've obviously had your share of slow starts over the course yeah. of the season. Were you kind of thinking, given the way the offense was going, that this was the one time it was going to come and bite yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's why we work on defense so much. And, uh, you know, we were switching out on ball screens and handoffs. We had a, so right before they went into a ball screen, we were supposed to switch out on two other plays, and we still weren't getting over the ball screen in the first half. Just lack of effort, lack of of just I've never it's by far our worst half of the year. Thankfully for us, they weren't making shots either. You know, except for the little guy uh, was making shots for them. So um, told the team at halftime. I said, you know, we can beat them 15. We just got to figure out how to do it. And then I told my staff right when they, when they threw the ball, I said, we're going to have to hold them. So almost nothing because our offense is no good. And they. They played Monday, we played Wednesday. They were much more prepared. I don't like that when you start league play and the team gets two extra days. Um, but they were they were sitting on every one of our plays and knew everything that we were trying to do. I'm um, In terms of the offensive issues, how, how much of it was their defense or you feel like you guys could have been doing some different Well, we were really selfish, again. And um, <clears throat> over dribbling, taking some bad shots, trying to play hero ball, trying to be the guy that gets us going instead of just, you know, Sorrell made the best play of the game. He only played four minutes. He caught the ball on the wing. He threw it right to Eric, and he made it three. Everybody else would have tried to shoot it. And um, so got, you know, Eric going a little bit. But we, we, got, a, we got a ways to go. We, we got a long ways to go offensively. But um, um, 
it's nice when you can win, miracle win, and, and, and learn from it. And hopefully we'll learn uh, from it and, and be better on Tuesday. How big of the concerns if you were only able to get you know two bench points in this game? Yeah, it's a concern. Yeah, we weren't very good. We weren't very good today. So our bench has been good. It's afraid to play guys. We were playing uphill the whole game. So um, I just went with six guys in the second half. So um, and the bench points were Dante right right there at the end, and he actually started the second half. So that's good. Mark, uh, you started the game with a small lineup again, yeah. um, and then after Daryl picked up a couple of early fouls, you, you saw Dante and he started the second yeah. half. Um, once the game got underway, did it feel like the bigger lineup was the better way to go? And that, is that what you saw out there? Yeah, and I thought Ricky gave us good minutes right before half too defensively. So um, yeah, we got to figure it out. We, we got to figure it out. But I, I, we all have a ton of confidence in Dante. Kid plays so hard. He's physical. Did a nice job of double teams late uh, in the game, so um, we got to figure it out. You know, some games, and that's why I wasn't smart in that, starting that lineup early in the year because we had to figure out how to play outside that lineup. Um, but Daryl's been able to guard everybody, you know, one through five, and, and today um, he, he wasn't as successful uh, with that. So we'll, we'll figure it out um, as we go. I just. We gotta we gotta get some young guys playing a little bit better. We gotta get a post up game. We have no post up. I mean, last year we played through Bruno the whole year. Now it's like Jack and threes out the whole game. So we gotta we gotta figure out how to be a little bit better offensively. Two right through us back. Coach, can you talk about Jalen's performance tonight, and particularly his low post defense on Georgie? Yeah, I mean that kid's a man. Georgie's really good, and he's you know crab dribbling and banging them. And it's supposed to be against the rules. You're not supposed to back guys down and bang them, but um, Sticks held his own, used his length um, on him. Intimid I think he blocked three shots, but intimidated probably another seven or eight. He had a big three. You know, when you play them, basically they're giving Sticks that jump shot. And he's made three in the last two games. He's had like 29 points and like 29 rebounds in the last two games or something crazy like that. So he's coming. He's playing terrific um, for us. And. Uh, Glad we got him. He was, he was terrific on defense, especially late in the game. And then we doubled him a little bit, and, and our timing was a little bit better on our double team uh, late in the game with Georgia. That Anthony three, it kind of seemed like a broken down play. Yeah. Do you remember what you told your team before? Yeah. And like, what, what, what was the look that you were trying to get? Yeah, so we had a play called, we ran it wrong. The backside, we ran wrong. The first part, they just switched it, which was a ball screen pop. They switched it, we almost turned it over. So then you're out of the play, because your timing's off. Anthony just goes and gets it and shoots it. So that's what happened, just be quite real with you guys. With all the charges and all that push on Makai, is that uh, selfishness or is that aggressiveness to take the ball that hard at the basket? Man, we were out of it. We had a four on one with, with uh, Wiggs. He double dribbled, they didn't call it, and then he runs over the guy. Um, Daryl jumps over the guy, you know, and it's, you know, you, you decide. I've already used that word enough today. Thanks. Yeah.